everybody. My name is Nathaniel. I'm Sutton. And this and is this our buddy is Levi. Levi. So welcome to our channel. We are a husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs> we are super excited to kick this channel off with our very first vlog, if you want to call it. More so our, about our love story. What are we going to tell them about today? Well, let's say why we originally started this channel. Okay. Originally, it was going to be for our home videos because we've been filming home videos the past two and a half years that we've been married because we feel like home videos are sadly going out of style and we love them. Whenever mm -hmm. we Christmas time comes around, we watch our home videos and we were talking about how, wow, when we have kids, what if they have nothing to watch of themselves because everyone just records on an iPhone and then it's just gone. Like, you know, you drop your phone, it's gone forever. Yep. So we started this to just kind of document, I guess, our lives and we're going to upload it to YouTube. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a very exciting time in our lives right now. We um, just bought this house. We uh, were two years into our marriage, two and a half years, and most excitedly, we have a little one on the way. <laughs> yeah, we have a little boy due in January. Our very first son and the very first grandson in both sides of our families. Mm -hmm. You want to show them? Give them a little side profile? Am I going to get blurry? Look at that. <laughs> We're in a very excited time in our lives and we thought what better way to kick this channel off than by sharing our love story. Which we have never, have we ever told this on camera before? I don't think so. We've told a lot of people because one, one thing you might want to know about us is that we own our own business together. We film weddings for a living. We started a wedding videography and photography company. Um, so we see marriages happen, what do we do, like 80 weddings a year? And we hear that many love stories and now we're gonna tell our own. Whee! <laughs> um, so yeah, our love story, what? You. What's so funny? Saying we. <laughs> who, who else is there? No, he said we. From the very beginning, there was a little boy named Nathaniel, and he desired to meet a beautiful Christian woman. And um, even more detailed than that, I really wanted a virgin. I really wanted a, a woman that was a virgin and beautiful and a Christian. That was just the desires of my heart. And I was starting to lose hope for a while that wow, is there even a woman out there that exists like that? Because everyone I met sure wasn't like that. And then, and then this happened to me. <laughs> so for me, yeah, I guess I wanted the same things. And my dad had told me, he was like, why don't you make a list of things that you want a perfect guy to have? Like if you're just going to create the perfect person for you, what would they have? So I made this list. I'm just sitting in class one day. I made this list and there were things that like some things were very silly. They're not deal breakers. Majority of them were not deal breakers. Um, obviously the most important thing was I wanted a Christian guy. That was for sure. But everything else like, you know, height and uh, eye color and that they could play the drums. I've never even, I don't even know anyone who can play the drums besides my dad, but I just think it's cool. So it's like, well, they could play the drums, maybe him and my dad could bond over that. So I'm just making this list of random things. And um, so anyway, then I meet Nathaniel and turns out like literally everything on that dumb list, he has it. And I wish I would have kept it. I threw it away because I just thought it was silly. Um, but even the, even the silly things, he had them. And so I was like, I don't know, just a real answered prayer. I had been saving myself for marriage, and so that was something I really wanted, I thought was important, was someone else who had also done the same thing. Um, I wouldn't say it was gonna be a deal breaker, but it would have been a heartbreaker mm -hmm. if, you, if you weren't. So that was our pre-meeting each other, then going into how we actually met each other. So. I was on the dating app Tinder, and I am not necessarily too proud of that, uh, but <laughs> yeah, but I don't think I really used it how most people use it. I genuinely just wanted to meet someone, not like a hookup. Um, and I, I was kind of in a point in my life where I was just so frustrated with 
uh, meeting people and how it never seemed to work out and it seemed like all the people that I met weren't really what I actually wanted. So one night I just, I was in bed and I was praying to God and I was like, you know what? I am, I'm done. I am done trying to hunt out the girl that I'm supposed to marry, the girl that I'm supposed to look, be with. And then that night, the next morning, I wake up with a notification on my phone from her sister. Her sister was on Tinder and we were a match. <laughs> I thought you were gonna do one of these. Like, yeah. you're gonna one of these. Uh, we were a match <laughs> and... Um, but not in real life, in real life. Yeah, in real life. We would never get along. Yeah, in real life. We get along now, but we're not like boyfriend, girlfriend get along. Um, anyway, so her sister uh, messaged me and said, this is gonna be the weirdest message you ever get, but you have to meet my sister. And I'm like, this girl's messaging me on Tinder saying I have to meet her sister. And I'm like, what kind of weird scam is this? So. Um, sure enough, she sent me the link to her Facebook page and I looked her up and I was like, whoa, this girl is beauty. She's a beauty. I messaged her on Facebook when I saw her. I was like, I'm messaging this girl. We're gonna read our first few Facebook messages back and forth and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna tell your side. Okay, so my side of the story was that I had been single for a year or more at the time. And my younger sister, she's the one that matched with him, um, she had just gotten <laughs> gotten out of a relationship, so she wasn't looking for anything. Uh, we're in the car, she's just telling me, like, why don't you get on Tinder? There's good people on there. And I was like, no, I felt like people on Tinder were looking for a hookup. I still don't know to this day if that's the truth. That's just what I put on people on Tinder, but it may not even be true. I don't know. Um, so I was like, no, there's no one on there I would be interested in. Um, and she was like, well, let me just show you some of my matches. So I'm like, okay. So she re-downloads the app. She didn't even have it because she had just got out of a relationship. Re-downloads it. She's scrolling through people that she's matched with. I'm just like looking at them thinking, you know, this is a waste of our time. I'm not getting tender. But then she gets the picture of Nathaniel. And the funny thing is, the picture doesn't even really look like you to me. I mean, the first picture I saw of you, maybe we could put that in here. Flash the picture. <laughs> The first picture I ever saw him doesn't really look like him, but I was like, wow, okay, now that guy's cute. And she was like, okay, well, I'm gonna tell him to message you on Facebook. And I was like, don't, because he matched with you. Like, that's so weird. He's gonna think it's weird. Don't do that. And she was like, no, I'm doing it. And I'm like, all right, well, whatever, you know, it's not gonna hurt anything. So she did it, she messaged him. So that was, you know, then he got the message. And that's what happened after that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of nervous. I'm, <laughs> I haven't read these. Like since that day, what year is this? This is 2014. Yeah, September. so this is actually, our, we haven't read this yet since we messaged each other. This um, is so funny. So I said, hey Sutton, not sure if you're aware or not, but your sister told me to friend you. <laughs> and Sutton said? I said, hey. <laughs> she did tell me she was telling somebody to add me, but she didn't say who and she didn't say why. But now that I see you, I can guess why. Are y'all friends? <laughs> so obviously I'm trying to play it off because I didn't know it was him. <laughs> and then from there, the rest was history. Um, sure enough, I found out that she, I, it was so weird because I felt like when I saw her, I was like, I have a feeling this girl's a virgin. And I don't know what it- In the it, pictures, right? Not in real life. Yeah, in the pictures. In the pictures, I, I just had this feeling and I asked her and she told me she was and she, and then I told her I was. First and, conversation, we jumped right into that. So, yeah. on that like little thread. So from there, we started going on dates and I just- One date a week, that was it. Yeah, It was like the week. longest and no, no really talking. We didn't really talk throughout the week. And then we had one date on the weekends and that was it. But by the third date, so week number three, can I go into this? Yeah. <laughs> you look yeah, scared. I, I don't really know what you're saying. By our third date, so this is only like the third week we've known each other, I think I could confidently say like, I think I'm gonna marry this guy. That, that was before we ever kissed, before, I think we may have only held hands on that date. So the first time I held her hand, we were driving in the car and um, she was actually driving me home from our date. No, you were driving my car. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I was driving her car. I was driving her car home from our date and I said to her, I said, do you want to see what it feels like to hold my hand? 
So smooth. <laughs> I was pretty proud of that one. I'm, I feel good about that one. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then we held hands just like that. Just like that. And it felt good. <laughs> And then from there, our first kiss, we were at a, a bond, we, were, we made a fire at my parents' house. And this was what, like our fourth date? Mm -hmm. Like our fourth so. date or something. And I was so excited because I just, her lips look so good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so this is a fourth date, which means the fourth week. So this is a month into us dating. So I was getting a little scared that like, you know, we might be getting into the awkward, spot of being like are we friends or are we gonna be more than that because we had only held hands like one time mm. <laughs> in a month which we were only seeing each other once a week so i guess it's not that big of a deal but yeah yeah and then so around the bonfire what did i say do you want to see what my lips feel like <laughs> <laughs> thankfully no. no no i couldn't use that one again but what did i say did i say anything I think that's what happened. We were at the bonfire and she asked me what I was thinking about. And then I said this and I laid one on her. <laughs> and the sparks flew. <laughs> oh yeah, one detail that I thought, you said that you thought you knew you were in love with me on our third date, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was a little bit longer for me, but there was a moment that I really felt like I knew she was the one I was gonna marry. I was downstairs in my room and I was praying to God, just talk, talking to God about Sutton and so thankful for her and then I felt like God just gave me this revelation that she was the one for me and then I started crying. That's sweet. I started crying because I felt like I knew she was the one I was gonna marry and it was true. And here we are. So that's our love story. Welcome to our channel. We are excited for what's to come to share our life with you. If you wanna tag along, feel free to subscribe to this channel and see our little baby grow up, see us grow up and grow more in love with each other and all the exciting things that we experience in life. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, I'm hungry. All right, let's go. <laughs>